Sadly, a lot of these products are just mediocre to me, and that face oil is the worst foundation I've ever used in my life, literally. Hey, what is up, you guys? It's Dustin, and I am back with another video. We are reporting to you live from yes. a very, very stormy Florida. It is a very stormy Florida right now. Like, power's been flickering. It's actually been very nice to, like, sit outside, but it has been, like, with our mm -hmm. upload speed and all that. Yeah, it's bad. Like, our internet is doing, mm -hmm. like... A snail's pace yeah. right now <laughs> so hopefully i'll be able to get this video uploaded we were going to film outside but mm. then we decided that it would be way too loud well but it's it, like a torrential downpour out there the, the ambiance is, is nice up. though it is nice it's very like calming Love. it's not cold Love. apparently in some places it's mm. like negative like 20 degrees yeah, people are having shit blizzards. Right now. somebody commented yesterday they're like in oklahoma and there's like a blizzard going on no thank you Oof. no ma'am pam but none of that mm. is the reason why we're making this video clearly you guys know i've talked about michaela for a very long oh. time have you and yeah Girl, I was one of the first drama channels to really start talking oh. about Michaela. I really was. What a badge of honor! Everyone. I know, right? I was the one that introduced <laughs> her to a beauty plaque. drama here on YouTube. <laughs> but Michaela has been getting into it, you guys, because Michaela is doing what Michaela does best, and in that, I mean, she's pushing a product that she may not necessarily believe in. Because mm -hmm. we've seen Kosas. I had never heard of this brand until recently. Yeah. We've seen people like Meredith Duxbury mm -hmm. out here promoting it, and apparently, the reviews are not good. So that's what this video is going to be. We're, we're going to be calling out Michaela because mm -hmm. she is being very 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 shady well it's not shocking that people are calling her out for this considering how many videos are out there of Michaela mm -hmm. with like hating a product and then all of a sudden she loves the product and it's sponsored that's you know like what? a new thing over on TikTok they're taking like a lot yeah. of beauty influencers and doing that you know what comes to mind when you say that I go back to the Jones Road and yeah. the Meredith Duxbury and all mm -hmm. that and speaking of Meredith Duxbury she was the very first person that I seen promoting Kosas mm -hmm. and at the very end the only thing to disclose what what she was doing and what she was promoting was hashtag Kosas partner. Yep. And that's shady. We've been calling people out for a very long time about not disclosing properly and, and pushing products that they may not necessarily actually like just for money. And I believe that that's what Meredith was doing, mm -hmm. 100%. So Michaela posted a Kosas review. Now, mm -hmm. I don't know if it was sponsored when she posted it or if they went back and sponsored it after. I think that there should be a way that we should be able yeah, to like dis discern that. I think that the FTC should really look into that. But Michaela is now doing a Kosas partnership, you guys. Check this out, and then we're going to get into why I think this is a bad idea, why Michaela put her foot in her mouth, and why I think Kosas might be the next Morphe. You guys, check oh. this out. Kosas said, ask and you shall receive. They extended the range of their Revealer concealer. People were begging on their hands and knees for them to extend the range, and including me. i show you the difference between the OG shades I would use and the new ones. Listen, the shades of the OG ones work for a lot of people. For someone like me with a cooler, pinkier undertone, they always pulled a little bit too warm and a little bit too yellow. Wait until you see the difference. So for reference, I am a neutral, cool undertone. Okay, so this is shade one, the OG shade I would use. And this is shade 0.7C. It is the new, cooler, pinkier undertone. Look at the difference. Very clearly, you can see how much cooler this one is. I'm applying shade 0.7C all over the face. Let me just say, there is a reason that this is a best-selling concealer at Sephora. It's ultra creamy, brightening, melts into the skin, leaving a super natural look, and it never feels heavy or cakey. And as a dry skin girly, my skin loves it. Like, look at how smooth and bright. I'm gonna do finishing touches, and I'll set it with a Kosas Cloud Set, one of my favorite pressed powders. I like shade Airy. Like, seriously, Kosas, thank you, thank you, thank you. What a way to start off 2024. Oh my God. Okay, so we talk about Michaela all the time, how mm. paid versus sponsored. And if you look back on Michaela's TikTok, you can see that she'll trash a product mm -hmm. and then eventually she'll come out with a sponsored video of that same product or something in the mm -hmm. same line of products, same brand and all that, and she'll love it. She's of done course. it countless times. There's whole compilations over on TikTok. There's probably some here on YouTube. If I can find something to show you guys, I will. But we've talked about it quite a few times here, mm -hmm. right? Full face of makeup I hate. In other words, I likely will never use these products again after this video. And just actually really like this mascara, but it bleeds like a bitch. Your under eyes raccoon at the end of the day, which sucks. And the wand can be a little tough to work with. It used to be one of my favorites. Uh, for the lashes, I'm using the Pillow Talk Push-Up Lashes in the beautiful Dream Pop color. I love how it pairs with the eyeshadow. So I tweeted out about this whole Kosas thing mm. and all of that, and people started replying to me with their experience with this brand. And not good. It's <laughs> not 
good Looking at bleak. all. One of our followers named Katie Cat tweeted back and said, I cannot emphasize this enough. Until Kosas does a better job regulating their formulas and shelf life, do not buy their products. Their foundation destroyed my skin after owning it for less than six months and before the expiration date. I don't care who is promoting it. And mm. look what it did to her skin, girl. God damn. Yeah. Like, oh, my God. And so I asked her if she minded if I put this in this video because I find it interesting that one of my own followers Yikes. has had this experience mm. with Kosas. And apparently that opened up the floodgates. Under that tweet now, there's a ton of replies of people that have had breakouts, that mm. have had, like, all kinds of shit pop up on their skin after using this product. I've seen a lot of comments underneath people that are promoting the Kosas. Uh, what is it? A concealer that came out? Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of people talking about how it's actually not a good product. There's a, listen, I'm going to read some of the reviews here that I found on Sephora and it's much like the trend mood comments mm. it was very few and far between that I actually seen a good review mm. I'm telling you most of them are bad so we're gonna read a few of those as well I'm not I promise you I'm not exaggerating like 99% so of, of those as well we're gonna read a few <laughs> of those as well because I find it really interesting and you'll see why later in this video why Michaela would be promoting this because she did not really like this Kosa stuff. She, she called it mediocre and everything. Sadly, a lot of these products are just mediocre to me. And you guys are going to have the biggest laugh when we get to that part of this video. So let's read a few of these reviews. So someone said, I'm just going to tell you guys right now, I'm pretty good at reading and she used some very big words here. So don't y'all come for me in the comments. <laughs> but this says a false advertisement. This concealer claims to be non-commodigenic, but has polyglycerol 3 dyes disosterate algae and soybean oil i tried this concealer with high hopes and, and trust that it would deliver unfortunately it clogged my pores as i have yeah. pretty sensitive skin now you didn't see this but off screen we googled we googled we to googled, see what this meant apparently like, wait did she spell it wrong <laughs> yeah no apparently it means that it's not supposed to clog your pores yes. and that goes back to what we were just saying people are having breakouts for using yeah. this stuff i just think we could have just kept reading the comment and we would have got the answer to what yeah girl we, we jumped the gun the more you know. someone else said it smells like chemicals really wanted mm. to love this concealer but it's just not for me coverage is pretty sheer and it takes a long time to dry i am returning because the smell is almost unbearable oh we've had shit like this happen in the past yeah. remember morphe had stuff come out and a lot of people were saying that it smelled like lighter fluid do you remember the james yeah. charles palettes? Yes. they were saying that they were like exploding and the shit the new laura mercier foundation that everyone's like going crazy over because of glamzilla and she used like the brush and mm -hmm. it showed it just looks so smooth michaela actually did a video on that and she was reviewing it and she said that it has like a really harsh smell she's like it smells like paint mm. some people like that though Oh, oh, wasn't it the, the Morphe paint. Foundation that had a smell? People yeah. were saying that it had a smell like and it had paint. a weird sheen in it. Yeah. Like a gray. weird texture or gray. something. Don't shit. forget the gray undertones. Yeah, Jacqueline Hill came out and said oh, that it had gray that. undertones. <laughs> I've never, like, I'm sure there are people that have gray undertones. Eugene Nakuni. <laughs> Girl. Mm. Anyway, next review. Um, Someone else said, sensitive skin. Love the concealer. It makes my under eye look perfect. But the reason I'm going to give it two stars is because it has fragrance in it. And it also broke out my skin bad. So if you have sensitive skin, it's a no. Can I ask everyone out there, do you prefer a product that has like any scent in it? Like not overpowering. Some people love a fucking fragrant product. I love a clean. I like a little bit of a scent. Mm -hmm. I don't like too crazy. Yeah. But some a lot of people it does fuck with their skin. I wouldn't I definitely wouldn't want to be putting something on my face that was gonna like I could smell because you know I'm mm. like easily triggered by scents and shit. Like that would be a no for me. But I can't believe that Michaela's promoting this, knowing that she has a history of acne herself mm. and has been so vocal about how acne has ruined her life and shit, but she's promoting a product that could literally break your skin out. Yeah. The next one says, would not recommend. Went bad very fast. Component always breaks and leaks. Too yellow, would not recommend. Like, I'm telling you, if you guys have mm. some free time, if you've ever wore Kosas, or, or if you've thought about buying these products, go have a look at the reviews over on Sephora because I don't know why this brand is selling out because apparently... Se because influencers are getting their hands on it because they're getting a paycheck. They're getting the paid the for it, girl. They're, they're promoting they're telling everyone shit. this is amazing. They're telling those 10-year-olds over there in Sephora that they need the <laughs> Four concealers, oh Meredith Duxbury. Yeah. Not anymore. She said that one Kosas concealer <laughs> replaced it. The next person said, nope, does not blend well at all. It is not full coverage. Coming from someone with pretty bad dark circles, I tried the shade 06, and I'm pretty tan, so I thought that would be a great shade, but it's really <laughs> orangey. So they're out here selling the Donald Trump Foundation, girl. I wonder if anybody <laughs> that's ever left like a review on Sephora has been like, Michaela lied to me, or Glamzilla is a liar. I wonder. Like, you, we think? Need to, you know what would be funny? We should look at the makeup reviews on Amazon because the makeup reviews uh -huh. on Amazon, girl, they go hard in the paint over yeah. there. If you ever want to laugh, go and look at the reviews for the Kelowna Willie. 
Yeah. <laughs> it is, because people post their honest reviews with photos. Go look it up. <laughs> okay, so let's read one more of these reviews. It says, awful. I wanted to love this, but this is proof not all clean beauty is good. It developed a tallow scent after two weeks. Do you know what tallow is? Like, Stinky. Like beef. Oh. Like beef tallow. Yeah, ew. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they used to put in McDonald's fries before they got sued. Sadly, <laughs> it legit smells like rancid oil. The color even seems to have oxidized to be even more yellow. This is the second comment that I've read here that talks about it being yellow. I have to hold my breath while using it. I'm considering throwing it away, but I don't want to be wasteful. The better version of this product is Tower 28's Concealers. They have great coverage and it's so creamy. Smells like nothing. I don't mm. recommend any Kosas products because they expire so quickly, even their powders. Yeah, a lot of people call bullshit on the whole clean beauty thing. Mm -hmm. They say a lot it's of like people, not really a thing. It, it's kind of like that fucking avocado mayonnaise you got. Like, girl, why oh, are you like? Yeah, I get, that was a little weird. I get the was, idea of wanting to have like clean makeup because yeah. it's supposed to be good for you and good for the environment. But not everything works. That's when they started taking aluminum out of like deodorant. Mm -hmm. Give me all the aluminum, girl. I know it's bad for me. I know I should not have that on my body, but I need all the aluminum because I stink if I go outside in the sun and it like I get sweaty. No. Some of the natural deodorant's not bad. It's not. We were living in 116 degree weather girl, and I was sitting outside. Listen, all day, I know every from day. a personal experience with Nick so, that deodorant, it don't work yeah. girl. But moving on, I want to show you guys a compilation of Kosas Beauty that Michaela did mm -hmm. in the past. She's talked about Kosas a lot and just how bad she thinks the product is, how it's mediocre, and how it's just a terrible product. <laughs> so for her to be coming out with a paid sponsorship with mm -hmm. them is just kind of like mind-blowing to me because this just reinforces that she will literally do anything for a paycheck. If she's going to get some money, Michaela will slap her name on it. So you guys check out this compilation. Pat two of trying Kosas. Don't get me wrong. It looks good. It looks like skin. It looks glowy. But holy shit, my face feels like it has oil on it. Like this is not set in. It just feels like straight oil on my face. All right, now I'm gonna try the super creamy brightening concealer. By the way, I'm shade one in the oil, shade one in the concealer. I live for the packaging. It's extremely creamy. <laughs> a light to medium coverage on this. Okay, I need to set my face or else I will literally die. <laughs> I'm curious if I can bake over this or if the oil is gonna mix with the powder and get all ugh. Don't put powder on top of that. Oh, it's hard to see on camera, but my skin looks horrible powder separated with the oil mm, i don't even know if i can finish this video <laughs> nope i fucking hate that foundation this is my attempt at showing you what's happening here Ugh. Ugh. Blech. that never happens to me and that's it full face psychosis let me tell you something is this my new favorite brand that i'm gonna be flocking to absolutely not i don't hate it if you're into light, natural, clean beauty, you might love this. Sadly, a lot of these products are just mediocre to me, and that face oil is the worst foundation I've ever used in my life, literally. This video was about the Kosas Tinted Face Oil. This is truly the worst foundation I've ever used. It is at the absolute bottom of the list for me. And I'm not gonna lie, after I did that video, I genuinely did not want to use Kosas, like, ever again. <laughs> very much about second chances so today we're gonna try the new kosas foundation and am i terrified yes i feel like i look like i'm really stoned and i'm not it's <laughs> i'm not this light is like so bright in my eyes yeah this like, lighting that we have going like on that. right now is like super bright mm. but you guys are gonna have to let me know what your thoughts and opinions are down below about michaela i think it's shady i, I think this just reinforces what we all thought mm. when Lashgate happened michaela will attach her wagon to anybody or anything she thinks is gonna garner her money garner her success and get people to click and buy things she is literally the embodiment of jacqueline hill in 2024 she's oh. like the new age jacqueline hill she's the supreme but if you guys made it this far in this video leave me the purse emoji down below Ooh. for what makeup bag oh. <laughs> makeup bag <laughs> <laughs> as always i hope you guys all have an amazing day and we will see you all in my next video bye bye guys